So in the previous video I showed you contravariance. Let me show you covariance, which is basically the same concepts, except we're talking about return types now instead. I also noticed I've been doing a little bit too much C++. I put the semicolon there in the previous video. I'm just going to delete that. That's not necessary. Uh, okay, so we have our derived, and we then here's base and base, and, and nothing quite new here. I cleared out the rest of the stuff. Let's, uh, let's make some methods here. Static, base, returns, base. Okay, and I'm just going to return, I could return a new base, so I'm just going to return null. The concepts we're talking about are compile time concepts, not necessarily anything to do with the runtime. So null is fine, so static derived returns derived, and we'll return null here as well. Okay, now we need two delegates. I'm going to, let's say a delegate, base returns base delegate. And no arguments. And then delegate derived returns derived delegate. Okay, and then down here, let's um let's just let's do one, each delegate one at a time. So let's start with returns base delegate. Returns base delegate B, and then I'm just gonna reuse this. So I'm gonna say uh let's bring that up. I'm gonna say B gets returns base. And here I'm going to say B gets returns derived. All right. Notice no red squigglies anywhere. I can build this. Build succeeded. It's just fine. All right. So so let's analyze what the compiler has to think about here when when, you, when we do this kind of setup. First of all, returns base delegate returns a base. So when I have a reference of this delegate a reference a method. That returns the exact same data type. It is a perfect match. Okay, they're both return based. No, no hocus pocus there. It's all good. All right now, this is a more interesting example. Returns derived. This one returns a derived. And yet, we're able to legally say, well, B is going to reference returns derived. Okay, but but B is of type returns base delegate, which returns a base. So the base and the derived here. They don't match. Okay, but if you think about it, anytime we invoke this method, the compile time restriction is it has to return a derived. It can't return an object, can't return a string, can't return a base. It has to return a derived or anything that inherits from derived. All right, so the compiler knows there's no way that this method can violate the fact that this delegate must return a base because a derived is a base. Okay, so that's that's covariance. Basically, the the return types here between this derived and base, there's, it's covariant. Okay. Now let's go to the other delegate del del here. I'm gonna we're, we're we're done with this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it. Well, maybe I'll leave I'll leave it up. Okay. But I'm gonna switch over to returns derived delegate. I'm gonna paste this right here. Or maybe not. I didn't copy it. Copy, paste. Okay, notice the presence now of one squiggly here. All right, and let's think about that. This returns derived delegate. Well, it says it's always going to return something very specific. However, returns base is not required to return something as specific as derived. It can return a base. Okay, I could technically, if I wanted to really drive this home, I could say new base. Or even worse yet, I could uh, say class derived to inherits base. So yeah, these two classes are siblings, but derive2 doesn't inherit derived or anything like that. So I could legally I could return a derive2 here. All right? And there's no issue with that because the derive2 is a base. However, look at look at what the compiler has to assume here. Returns base, well, this delegate says it's going to return a derived. You know, and, and this could return a derived, but it could not. You know, there's no real restriction here. So the compiler the compiler doesn't assume anything. It just says, well, this is too general for what you're trying to do here, so that's bad, right? Uh, let's look at the next example. B gets return derived, returns derived. Well, B, that's a perfect match, right? No problems there. I mean, returns derived. Well, it, this is required to return a derived. I mean, I could do something better than null here. But, but either way, I mean, null is a valid reference for derived. But I, I can't come in here and say derived too. 
The compiler knows this is going to be enforced at compile time. I, I, you can't return a drive to. This says it's going to return a drive. I can't return a base. Okay, base is too general. You have to return a derived or something that inherits derived. So I'm forced to always return derived here. Or null, no, either one. All right? But that's okay. The compiler can the compiler's satisfied. It's saying, hey, you're being specific here. You're being specific here. That's actually a perfect match, so we're good. Okay, so that's that's delegate covariance.